Mr. Abbott here and a quick little uh, explanation to help you with the longitude and time homework that you received in class today. Um, our basic idea is to solve these problems. We're going to draw a map and then we're going to do a series of calculations. So I just want to quickly review the concepts and then I'll go through and solve the problems for you. So if we flip it over to the back, one phrase that we should keep in mind is wheel. Okay, W-E-E-L. And what does wheel stand for? Stands for west is earlier, east is later. When you solve these problems, you have to figure out if you're going west or east. Anytime you go east, the time is going to get later in the day. If you travel west, the times will be earlier. Now, another key piece of information is the Earth's rate of rotation is 15 degrees per hour. So every 15 degrees of longitude is a one hour time change. If I know the number of degrees, when I'm given the number of degrees apart, I'm going to take that and divide by 15, and that would tell me how many hours apart my two locations are. So if I was 45 degrees apart, 45 divided by 15 would give me a three-hour time frame. Now, if I know the number of hours, all you'd have to do is multiply by 15 degrees, and that would give you the number of degrees. So if you had a five hour difference, okay, I would do five times 15 and I would get 75 degrees between the two locations. That's how many degrees of longitude they are separated. So we're going to remember west is earlier, east is later. Now, I always like to draw a map, okay, and it's the world's simplest map. My map, you know, it's a model. Models help us represent and see things. So I'm going to draw two vertical lines. Each one is a meridian of longitude. You'll notice at the top and the bottom there are four spaces. Okay, we're going to get two longitudes and two times by the time we're done with this. But they need to give you three out of the four pieces of information. They're either going to give you two longitudes in one time, or two times in one longitude. But let's go to the front and work through these problems to give you some examples. All right, so we're looking at the sample problem problems. I'll go down the left side first. This is a two longitude problem. So I'm gonna draw my two lines representing meridians of longitude. I have to say which of these is farther west. So 75 degrees west is going to be west. 75 degrees east will be the east line. The time that I know is 2 p.m. So the problem says it's 2 p.m. in New York. So 2 p.m. in New York. The line that has both pieces of information is my starting line. So I'm going to start there. For this problem, Okay, I always work with wheel, so I have to figure out, am I going west or east? In this case, I'm going east, so east is later in the day. Now, since I know two longitudes, I have to determine the difference in time. So, in between 75 degrees west and 75 degrees east, I'm going to hit the prime meridian. Okay, since I have to cross the prime meridian, I'm going to add them. Mr. Brideson always likes the idea, opposites add, same subtract. I'm crossing the prime meridian, so I'm going to do 75 degrees plus 75 degrees is telling me that my two locations are 150 degrees apart. All right, I know the number of degrees, therefore I'm going to take the... 150 degrees and divide by 15 
I hope you don't need a calculator, but just to prove to you, 150 divided by 15 is going to be 10 hours apart. So these are separated by 10 hours. Okay, so 2 o'clock in the afternoon, 10 hours later, 2 plus 10 is 12. This is going to be midnight, so the answer is going to be 12 a.m. In some cases, if you really need to, you could draw a clock face and count forward and back if you can't figure out the times. All right, example two. Step number one is draw a map. My map is two vertical lines, 75 and 150. Both of these are west, but 150 west, Alaska is farther west than 75 degrees west. All right. Now, it's 11 a.m. in New York, so I'm going to put the time on the bottom. Clearly, I'm moving farther west. So when I look at this, the first problem was east is later, but this one, west is going to be earlier in the day. So to start at 75 and move to 150, these are on the same side. So I take my 150 degrees. I subtract the 75 and I get these to be 75 degrees apart. All right. Once I know the number of degrees, I'm going to do 75 divided by 15 and that would give me five hours. So I have to go five hours prior to 11 a.m. If you need to count back on a clock, this would be 6 a.m. Now, you could also do this where you're drawing every line for 15 and label each line. It works, it just takes a lot more time and it takes a lot more lines. I'm usually just going to do it mathematically. All right, so these problems were two longitudes in one time. If we look at the other side, these are going to be two times and one longitude. Now, this one's actually giving you a special longitude. It's giving you the prime meridian. Now, historically, they called time at the prime meridian GMT. So you might see some questions where they say GMT, Greenwich Mean Time. That's the time at the prime meridian. Okay, a more modern usage for this is UTC or Z time. It's universal time. But same idea. I'm going to draw two meridians. Okay, since they're at different longitudes, they're at different times. Your time is 3 a.m., it's 11 a.m. I'm going to go back to wheel west earlier, east later. 3 a.m. in the morning, 11 a.m. Okay, 3 a.m. is much earlier, so 3 a.m. goes west. 11 a.m. is to the east. Looking at this, 11 a.m. is the prime meridian, so I'm going to label that zero degrees. My starting point is here, so I'm going to travel west. So my answer here is going to be a certain number of degrees west. Now, if I am at 11 and I go back to 3 o'clock, there is an 8-hour time difference. So these are 8 hours apart. I would take my 8 hours and multiply by 15, and I would get 120 degrees. If you need me, 8 times 15 is equal to 120 degrees. Now, I can't give a longitude without giving a direction. So longitude is east or west. Clearly, because we drew the map and we know the time is earlier, you are going west. Now, the most complicated one of all, two meridians, 4 p.m., 10 a.m. 10 a.m. is going to be earlier, west is earlier, 4 p.m. is later. Okay, we know it's 10 a.m. at 15 degrees west. So from 10 o'clock in the afternoon to 4 o'clock is 6 hours apart. So my first step is I'm going to 
multiply my six hours by my 15 degrees per hour, and I know these are 90 degrees apart. They're separated by 90 degrees of longitude. I'm starting here. I'm beginning west of the prime meridian, and I'm going to travel east. So if I'm going 90 degrees, I'm going to cross the prime meridian and go into the eastern hemisphere. So in one 15 degree segment, I'll get back to the prime meridian and it's going to be 11 a.m. So it takes 15 minutes to get to the prime meridian. If I subtract that, that means I'm going to wind up at 75 degrees east. Okay, since I'm crossing the prime meridian, I have to subtract the number of degrees it took me to get there. But if we wanted 15 degrees west would be 12 p.m. 30 would be 1 p.m. 45 would be 2 p.m. This is why I don't like it, because you run out of space. 60 degrees would be 3 p.m. So by the time you get to 75, you've moved 90 degrees. It's a six hour time difference. It's going to be 75 degrees east. Um, hope that helps you with getting through these questions. By far, that was the most challenging, difficult one. Take care.